Sign for Living is a play that I've actually wanted to do maybe even before I came to the Shakespeare Theatre. Uh, I saw it many, many years ago with Vanessa Redgrave in England, and it struck me as being um, such an extraordinary play. Not only is it funny, genuinely funny in the best sense of, you know, the wit of Noel Coward, but the plot, which is about these three best friends who are both emotionally and sometimes rom seriously romantically involved, uh, which takes them from a whole sort of career from bohemians in, in Paris to very successful uh, playwright and painter and interior decorator uh, in New York. Uh, also is about the perils, not only of friendship and romance, tangly, but also of success and fame and money and what that does. Uh, and so I think it's both a terribly funny play and a terribly meaningful play that again, like what I say is a definition of a classic, a play that you know, transcends its time because of what it, what it deals with. And then in our case, it deals with it in extraordinary language that Design for Living for me is a great 20th century classic. I think it's terribly fitting that we're doing Noel Coward in this season, only because we are, we are opening the season with the most famous of high comedy plays written in the English language, which is Congreve's Way of the World. And if you see, and if you look at our repertory over the last few years, you can see that from Congreve, you go to Oscar Wilde, from Oscar Wilde, you go to Noel Coward, and you see that this tradition of aphorism, of, of, of language being witty and yet meaningful, actually follows, in a way, our exploration of the English high romantic comedy. And so I think it's perfect that we're starting with the mother of them all and ending with, I guess, the daddy of them all uh, in, in Noel Coward. And, and I think it'd be fun to bookend the season that way. It's my first Noel Coward. It's my first Congreve. Uh, I'm getting a chance to do all the things that I think are hard for myself this year again. But uh, I like challenges, and I like the exploration of language in both of these writers. Uh, n you know, Congreve writes in long sentences and aphorisms. Coward writes in short sentences and aphorisms. So uh, it'll be fun for me to introduced to myself and to our audience uh, these two extraordinary examples of, of high English comedy.